Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me in this video. Today I want to share with you a couple of beauties. It is early morning, not yet 8 o'clock. On a cloudy day, apparently it rained a little bit during the night, which is most welcome. I just came outside, as I usually do, and I had a surprise waiting for me. <laughs> Aren't they gorgeous? This cactus is Echinopsis subnudata and it is uh, its blooming season. These gorgeous flowers are also fragrant. The lovely petals are so delicate, they look like made of silk. These opened in the early hours of today and they will wither as the night progresses. But uh, other buds have opened before and more will open later as there are others waiting their turn. Cactus blooms do not last long. The good thing about them is that uh, there are lots of buds and uh, the forming ones will open sequentially, sometimes for a long period. This cactus is a species native to Bolivia. I very much like its dark green globular body, <laughs> almost spineless, with these well-marked white earls. I was lucky to find one with several heads and plenty of pups. I am taking this opportunity to show you how wonderfully the succulents in this bed are doing. All cacti are growing. Some have already bloomed too, and the leafy succulents are doing exactly what I wanted, filling up the spaces and looking quite compact. Not much maintenance needed uh, so far, apart from removing a few weeds uh, that uh, usually manage to grow through the layer of stones and uh, the leaves from my peach tree that uh, fall down regularly. <laughs> but let's go over this side. There is something else I want to show you. This plant here, believe it or not, is a cactus. This one is Pereschia aculeata, a native species to most parts of South and Central America, Caribbean, Florida, and Mexico too. Unlike the desert cacti, this species lives in humid to subhumid evergreen forests. It is a terrestrial, not to be confused with epiphytes. Can you see there? These are the distinctive uh, spines of a cactus, several coming out of the same point, the so-called aerial, a sort of a cushion from where blooms also originate. Same thing here on this uh, cactus, or on this other one, where aerials are a lot more obvious. But completely different from my aloe vera, which uh, has uh, spines along the leaves, but uh, they are different. This is not a cactus. The spines go along the leaves, but uh, there are no aerials. But uh, going back to our Peresca aculeata, this is only a small plant that started as a cutting, but uh, it will grow bigger, <laughs> as large as I let it. I hope it can bloom for me in the near future. The blooms are very showy, strong fragrant uh, blossoms, followed by beautiful clusters of yellow berries, which are edible, as well as the young shoots and leaves. And uh, the flowers are of great value uh, to bees. There are other reasons for loving this cactus. This Peresca and others in the same genus are common in certain parts of the world. 
but they are only in the kind. And that is because they are quite unusual cacti. They are even a special case of study for scientists. Let's see. Pereskis have the right cacti type of spines, but the stems are not succulent and their leaves have those little openings called stomata on both sides, allowing double water transpiration, which is quite funny feature for a cactus. The fascinating fact is that the Pereskis of today are pretty much similar to what they were millions of years ago in the early years of cacti evolution. And therefore, they are considered the best living representation of the ancestral cactus. Back then, the earth was still in process of drying off and the whole planet was a lot wet and humid. Eventually, some areas stayed humid while others became dry to the bone. <laughs> Some plants, including desert cacti, found themselves living in areas that progressively became hotter and drier through deserts. So, they had to do something with their lives in order to survive. Therefore, they have undergone many changes, one of which was the elimination of leaves to avoid excessive water loss and they grew spines instead. Adapt to survive, that's the motto. <laughs> Nature is so wonderful, we have so much to learn from it. To finish with, I would like to show you my dragon fruit cactus of genus Illocereus. I don't know which species, all I know is that it is uh, growing fast and big. I don't know what to do with it, but um, Look at that! I will show you better from the upper side. Look at the size of these stems. And this one, I urgently need to do something about this. I am thinking of getting a large pot, which must be quite tall, and place it in my succulent garden under the magnolia tree. But I'll keep you posted. And this is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time.